Hi everyone, my name is Vivek and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you want to see my upcoming new tutorials, please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon. This is the 10th episode to create a photographic website using Flexbox. In the previous episode, we work on the contact page. And today, we will convert CSS into SCSS using Koala Compiler. This is not a requirement for this project, but it will help those who want to learn SAS. So first, open your text editor and create a folder called SCSS. So in the start folder, you can right click and click on new folder. You can write SCSS. Inside SCSS, let's create another folder called base. Inside this folder, we will create different SCSS files like reset.scss, variable.scss, and typography.scss. To create them, right click on the folder and click new file. You can add underscore reset.scss. Again, add new file and create underscore typography.scss. And finally, one more file and call it underscore variable.scss. Now, again, inside this SCSS folder, let's create new folder and call it layout. Inside this layout, we will create different SCSS files like common, header, and footer. So let's create them. So first, let's create underscore common.scss then create underscore header.scss and finally create underscore footer.scss Now, let's create one last folder inside this scss you can call it pages and here we will add the scss files for header, about and contact so first, let's create underscore home.scss then create underscore about.scss and finally create underscore contact.scss Now, let's create main.scss where we can import all of these scss files So in this scss folder, create a file and call main.scss now let's import all of these SCSS files over here. To do that, you have to use add import. And we need the location of the SCSS file. So first, let's do base slash variables. You can copy and paste. The second thing we want to import is the reset. The third one is typography. Likewise, let's try to import this common footer and header. So it should be layout slash common. You can copy and paste. You can change it to header and footer. Again, we need to import this about contact and home. So it should be pages slash home. And about and finally contact now close this min.scss as we no longer need them you can close contact and about.scss we will work on them later for now open reset.scss and you can copy this reset code from my github account this is just a basic reset CSS, except in this body, we have added the dynamic color, background, font, and min width. So all of these are coming from variable.scss, which we will be working very soon. For now, close this one and open typography.scss. Again, you can copy the code from my GitHub account. And here, 
we have added the font weight and margin bottom for all of the heading we have added margin bottom for paragraph and some styling like color and text decoration for the anchor tag whenever you see something that starts with dollar like dollar heading color or font size you can understand that it's coming from the variable now close this file and open variables.scss and again you can copy the code from my github account and here you will see the variables have been created for colors font family body text links and headers Feel free to change any of the value like color, font family, font size and so on depending on the requirement of your website. Now open the CSS folder and you can remove this reset.css because we no longer need them as we have our reset.css and you can also cut this main.css and paste them in desktop as a backup now open your index.html remove the link tag where we have imported reset.css refresh the site and as expected, we can no longer see any of this style now. When working on a CSS file, we need compiler which convert SCSS into CSS. To do that, we use Koala software which is free to download. And to download them, you can search download Koala. Click on first link and click download. I won't download them because Koala is already installed on my system which looks something like this. Now all we need to do is we have to drag and drop our project folder into Koala software. Now you can see our SCSS file main.scss and at the bottom you can see scss slash main.scss which means our compiled CSS is stored under this SCSS folder. If you open this SCSS folder, you can see main.css is added over here. But we want this compiled CSS to be stored under this CSS folder. So to change the folder, you can right click, click on set output path. And then you can choose the new folder where you want to store the compiled CSS. You can write the file name main.css and save. Now it has been changed to CSS slash main.css. Now open our text editor, open any of the SCSS file and just save them. And now if you look at the folder, you can see main.css has been added over here. If you open them in our text editor, you can see all of our styling has been automatically added over here. Remember, we have added reset.scss and typography.scss. So those two files have been compiled over here. Now, whenever you keep on adding other SCSS file, it will automatically get added over here so we don't have to work on this main.css make sure this koala software is always open when you work on the project now let's get started by copying all these styles from main.css from our desktop into each of the scss files First, let's close this compiled main.css and instead open the main.css from our desktop. 
I will open them inside over here. In this common.scss, we will add the styling which is common for all the pages. For example, this title block. It is common for all the pages, so you can select all of this title block. You can cut and paste in common.scss. And in SCSS, we can use nesting, which would look something like this. Now in this Mendo CSS, we can search other properties, which would be common. For example, this block. We need this block for all the pages, so cut all of them, paste it after the title block, and again we can use nesting. You can do the same for row as well as for call again let's search in Mendo CSS whichever will be common I guess form would be common so you can cut all of this form and paste it after the block Again, let's use nesting over here. Now open header.scss and here you can add the style for our header and navigation. Again, list use nesting. Now let's use nesting for the nav ID. You can add a comment if you want. Likewise, let's cut this style for the footer. And add them under footer.scss. Again, you can use nesting over here. Once done, let's check our site. And now we can see some style in our site. There are 
still a few box over here which we will resolve very soon but first let's copy this container and add them in our common.scss add the comment called container as well rest we can remove all of them as they are all in our reset.scss now refresh the site and we can see some changes over here now let's fix this hero gallery and latest post so copy the style from main.css and you can paste them in home.scss you can use nesting now we can cut the style for this gallery block And finally, you can cut the style for the latest post block. We can use the nesting. Now refresh the site again and this time they all are looking great. We have few issues to resolve. For example, we have to remove these dots from the navigation. So open your header.scss and in UL you can add list style none. Refresh the site and it is gone also we have got some margin bottom over here so open your home.scss let's use developer tool over here it's the s3 tag so in s3 you can add margin 0 it is resolved as well and finally in the footer we have to use list style none so open footer.scss and in socials you can add list style none refresh the site finally we have got some big space over here so in copyright we have to add padding sorry margin 0 and it is still not working so let's use the developer tool and we have to add margin 0 in the p tag refresh the site and now everything looks perfect in home page now let's work on this about page here we just need to work on our themes so you can close this footer.scss and open about.scss got the style for our themes you can use the nesting
now refresh the site and we can see the changes but we still have some spacing over here in this s3 tag so use margin zero refresh and the about page looks fine now work on contact page let's work on this form so open contact.scss and you can paste the code and use nesting refresh the site and the form is looking much better let's also remove this border from our google map iframe so in this iframe you can add border zero and you can also add the comment if you like refresh the site and now even the contact page is looking great now close all of the files except variable.scss and home.scss now whenever you see the white color instead of adding the color code has fff select everything and replace them with dollar white do the same for other scss files as well you can look for the white color Try to select everything and replace with the variable name dollar white. Let's do the same for our light black color as well, which is has three three three. Once you find the color, you can replace them with a variable called dollar light black. Let's do the same for our blue color as well, which is primary color. Wherever you see blue color, replace them with primary color. Now refresh the site and everything still looks the same. But let's see what happened if we change the primary color from blue to let's say orange refresh the side and now wherever we have used the primary color it has been replaced to orange color so that's the beauty of using variables in scss you can do the same for our font family as well and font size now let's add variable for our font family as well so whenever you see the font family called Montserrat you can select everything and replace them with our variable refresh the site
and everything is looking exactly the same as it was before. Now let's see what happened if we change it into Arial. We can now see Arial font all over our site. Let's see what happened if we increase the font size. And we can see even the font size has been increased across the whole site. So using SCSS, it makes our life easier if we want to modify something in the future. This is the end of this session. In the next session, we'll work on responsiveness using Media Query. Feel free to comment below if you have any question. Also, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel to get more videos in the future. If you want some hosting companies, you can check the link in the description below. Thank you and see you soon.